Did you top it up? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he did. What? Could you'll you be all right. Oh my God! You almost empty. Did he top it up? Can't even tell the difference no more. Did you, you put some water in there? Add um, some drops for him. The box. Yeah, you can do that. Box. 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 No we have Michaela off camera. I like that right there. there That's go. good stuff. Good. We're dropping. Do your thing. It's breathed. You do you. <laughs> Welcome to Whiskey Wednesday. This is Ryan. He's your cook. This is Evan, the neighbor. And again, we have Jeff. You might remember him from things as, hey, make tongue. <laughs> and then the rest of us. <laughs> hey, what's tongue? <laughs> <laughs> All right, but we I did it, right? I ate it. He did. It's okay. Yeah, we cooked it today. It, pretty it good. actually came out really good. It was probably it was the good. best tongue I've had. On to... Cooked. The... <laughs> Garrison Focus. Brothers. You can't just go from best tongue I've had into the Garrison Brothers. Cooked. It doesn't sound right. Cooked. Garrison Brothers. 2018 Cowboy. Only 4,725 bottles made or something like that? It says right on the box. That's what I quoted. And, and it's got a metal. This is bottle 127. And it's signed... Back there. So what we've what we've done is we went on Garrison Brothers and they recommended with this particular bourbon that you open it, you pour it, you let it breathe for a minute. This is a high proof. Um, as always. Oh sweet. Maybe not our first attempt, but that's near the hundred there. Mm -hmm. All right, so mm. it does smell really good. Mm. The what's kind of interesting about this is like we mentioned, four thousand mm. seven hundred twenty-five bottles. You're going to get this from a distillery and some high-end distributors. This is not cheap. It is good though, and it's got a. So hold on, before you say that, the the master distiller's tasting notes for this, and I quote, "Donis Todd, their master distiller, described it as a bare knuckle heavyweight prize fighter." It is kind of like a smack in the mouth. It does. <laughs> it gets you yeah. right there. Yeah. It's really sweet on the front though. It does start off sweet, but then it's got a little fire that burns, like the charcoal hasn't gone out. It's like a jab and then just a cross. Oh. <laughs> So you're saying it's a dirty price fighter? No, that's the way how you... It's, it's all price fighters. How you box. Okay. You jab, and then you cross, and then you do other stuff. But the jab is there to knock them off their, their game. For the but cross. Good job. Okay. Welcome. Good God. job or good jab? Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it is. It's nice and sweet on the front, and then it, yeah. it heats up, and it keeps rolling on the back. For something that's 133, 134 proof, this is, this is pretty smooth for something that's that high proof. Mm -hmm. And it's got, it's got a lot of sweetness to it. It's got cinnamon, toffee, marshmallows. It's, it's, it's got the s'mores kind of flavor. Not like the stolen s'more, the stolen eleven s'mores. That was, like a normal s'mores. Uh -huh. This is like, I think this is more like creme brulee. Yeah, like you, you, you lit some stuff on it's fire with this, and it, it tastes good. It tastes delicious. Yeah, it really does. All right, so last time we had Jeff over here. Brought us a very nice smoky whiskey. This one not quite as smoky, but he also had us do a really nice cook of lingua and pastrami. By the way, your pastrami, awesome, on point, point. Yeah. spot on, good stuff, yeah, very good. So what do you got Definitely for us this time? Mine. So uh, we're gonna do something. Uh, we're gonna do something simple. We're gonna do cupcake chicken. You bring the pants. I'll bring the pants. Okay. So cupcake chicken. Uh, yeah, I don't it, mean to repeat got, myself and be like, what? <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a way of doing competition chicken, and the pans, while they're specific, is they have a hole in the bottom, and it lets some stuff drain out, but not everything. And it's it's more of a way of cooking them than anything really specific. And it, it's a okay. presentation thing. Okay. Yep. Are we doing boneless or bone in? Oh, we can do both. Okay. Yeah, boneless or. Easier, easier, but they don't always hold their shape. Yeah, they don't get the, the cool end. little cupcake look. Yeah, yeah and the, the, the bone ends still give you something to hold on to, which is important in competition barbecues. The judges want something. It's meat. They want a bone in there nice. to grab onto. So you cook this in an oven? <clears throat> a what? Yeah, a steel. Have you ever even a, seen a steel, me turn a steel on my oven? oven with fire? It's a cupcake oven. Have you ever seen Cupcakes me turn? Cupcakes in the oven. Have you ever seen? Well, I, I have. I've we're, actually doing a lot of stuff in the we're oven. We're going to use the Easy Bake oven. That yes. works. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. I'm on. I'll we're bring, bring, my <laughs> bring, bring some extra light bulbs. Or use the drum. <laughs> you my said the Easy bulbs. Bake oven. It's the drum. I'll bring my LEDs. <laughs> <laughs> It'll take a really long time. Chicken this weekend, cupcake style, not in the oven. 
Until then, best whiskey, that's your favorite. Best barbecue's the way that you like it. Remember to share both. Cheers. 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 That's the first time that we've ever clinked on a cheers. Mm-hmm. I don't think we've ever clinked before. Yeah. We do a lot of firsts with you. All right, well, you know. Gigantic ass tongue, home. all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. What'd you think of the photo when I sent it to you? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> what, of the tongue? Yeah, and then he skinned it, and I was like, Ugh. <laughs> But then, it's like, if you can get past, you, you saw Ratatouille. Sure. If you can get past the gag reflex, it then yeah. it's spot on. Yeah.